Guys, welcome to the Everglades, and I'm here today to look for alligators. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List, and today I'm in Everglades National Park. The Everglades, home to hundreds of square miles of swampland. This is where Florida gets most of its drinking water from. But it's also famous for one other thing. It's full of alligators. So I'm here today at Sawgrass National Park, hoping to get a boat ride and see these things. If you do come here, buy tickets in advance because when I got here this morning, it was pretty busy with lots of school groups, tourist groups, and I, I got lucky. I managed to squeeze in literally just in time. Now, one of the things they don't tell you about is the fact that it's an airboat and you're going across swampland. A, it's going to be cold. No matter how hot it is, it's going to be cold because you're whizzing through at quite a phenomenal pace. But also, these things are loud. And just to show you how loud these things are, here's the raw, unedited footage of one of my takes. So, guys, if you are sensitive with hearing, sit at the front of the boat, wear earplugs, you'll be fine. The airboat ride itself is pretty cool. It takes about half an hour, or if you pay a bit more, you can have a private boat tour, and that takes a bit longer. You spend most of the time hurtling through the Everglades at such a phenomenal pace. And if the captain of the boat sees any alligators, he will try and slow down and he will try and point them out to you. On this occasion though, it's March and it's cold and there's no alligators around. So most of the time today's boat ride was just driving through swampland. Didn't seem like fun, right? All seemed a bit lost until someone actually spotted an alligator. And I didn't record the footage for you guys because my GoPro remote wouldn't work. So I kind of bombed out with trying to see an alligator on a boat. But fortunately for me, I still managed to see one. Here at Sawgrass, they also have an animal exhibit whereby they actually show crocodiles, alligators, and hey, I even got to hold one. Just hang on. Whoa. <laughs> really little bugger. Go a little this farther one. down on the tail? Yeah. There you go, squeeze the tail a little tighter. Squeeze the tail. Yeah. All right, hey, hey, it just calms down, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it's like a trick. D does, does it know? It's just I, no. You're good. I got you, bro. You got I'm, it, I'm got a it. YouTuber, bro. I got this. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! This is a baby alligator. If you guys are a part of the raw fam. We're over here at Sawgrass Recreational Park. Yeah, making videos. They also have other wild animals, but I found that most of them were not there, mainly because it's cold. Great. But guys, it's definitely worth adding to your bucket list. Everglades National Park, seeing alligators. So guys, if you'd want to do this, there are plenty of airboat tour companies. I went with Sawgrass, but there's quite a few others out there. Cost, not horribly expensive, about $20, $25, give or give or take. You spend a good couple of hours here, so it's definitely, definitely worth the money. Tips for you, obviously, bring earplugs and bring a sweater because it does get a bit cold out there. It's pretty warm today, and I'm still wearing a sweater and a hat. By the way, if you don't want to lose your hat, wear it backwards. There's plenty of companies to choose from, so if you don't want to go with Sawgrass, there's plenty of others depending on where you're starting out from, whether it be Orlando or, in my case, Miami. So guys, if you are in Florida, come on down, see some alligators. Just make sure it's warm, because otherwise they won't come out to play. If you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below and tweet me your other ideas for the ultimate bucket list. If I get enough of them, I might go ahead and do just that. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. And if the, and if the captain of the boat sees any alligators, and there's a whole bunch of other companies out there, there's plenty of companies to choose from, so if you don't want to go with Sawgrass, there's plenty of others.